Another Monday has come, and it's a wet one. It's been raining around and drizzling in other places. It's good to have you join us on TVC Breakfast. I am my co-quache. Certainly, I have my co-pilot here, Kemi Foladeemo. Kemi, good morning. Good morning, Mike. Good to see you. Good to see you. Great. Uh, good to see you again for another <laughs> ride. It's an interesting oh, one. Oh, dear, yeah. It All is. right, so many activities over the weekend, uh, but certainly let's... Uh, Take a look at this one. Now, a fast-growing terrorist group known as the Shila Boys is believed to have been causing nuisance in Yola, the capital of Adamawa State, under the guise of hardship over the removal of fuel subsidy. Now, following the recent invasion of Nema office by these suspected thugs, the governor of the state, uh, Amadou Fintiri, uh, imposed a 24-hour curfew in Yola. The hoodlums came out in numbers early Sunday morning, attacked people with machetes and broke into business premises and homes, cutting away property. Now, correspondent Ola Biadini C. filed in this report. Let's take a look at it. The operational office of the National Emergency Management Agency in Yola was broken into and looted by hoodlums. The attackers are believed to be members of homegrown terrorist group known as the Sheila Boys, who have been terrorizing the state capital. They have been hiding under the pretext of being disgruntled by the subsidy removal to unleash mayhem on innocent citizens. The state police commander and other security agents have now restored peace in the state capital with some of the perpetrators arrested. The PPRO in Adamawa State said that these men were able to recover some stolen goods and make some arrests. What reaches the command early hours of today that some hotlooms have gone down to vandalize and loot some government and private warehouses that is located within the state capital. Uh, there and then the commissioner of police now raise uh, the operational asset of the command and deploy them to go down to the ladder and prevent them from going ahead to vandalize and possibly loot the, the warehouses. So all of a sudden uh, that instruction has been carried out and as I'm talking to you now, 25 male suspects were apprehended and some items that were looted from the warehouses. This is one. Secondly, the command have succeeded in preventing them from going beyond the first uh, warehouse that was attacked. State coordinator of NEMA spoke on damage done to the agency. What happened today is a high level of criminality. Because uh, you could see there are some people are there who have been arrested. They enter with cutlasses, some with machetes and dangerous weapons. So it's a high level of criminality. Meanwhile, Governor Amadou Maru Fintiri has declared a 24-hour curfew on the state capital. The governor in a statement said there will be no movement throughout the state. Only those in essential duties with valid identification would be permitted to move around during the period of the curfew. The governor appealed to citizens and residents of the state to comply with the directive, adding that any person found contravening the order would be arrested and made to face the full wrath of the law. All right. Activities of Shila boys. The Shila boys have been active in, Ad in Adamawa for several years now. I think in the days of uh, former governor Bindao of Adamawa State, 2019, 20, you know, before 2019, thereabout, and it's, it's been on. Now, if you watch that, that video, you saw that uh, they were looting shops, people's businesses, mm. cutting away everything they can see or lay their hands on. But some of them uh, talked about the issue of or cited the issue of the hardship in the country and so on. I wonder how the looting of mattresses, like you saw someone just running up there on, on the screen, you know, looting of shops and people's property... Things that were looted, some of them were not even related to food. But we also saw the looting of a uh, Nema uh, uh, warehouse where food were kept, pasta and noodles and, and grains and things like that. I, I, and these boys are said to be between the ages of uh, 
18 to 25 mm. years, the Shilla boys. They look the, they look the part, if not younger. If not younger, from their frame, you can in, indeed tell that perhaps uh, they are just, you know, using the, the name of the Shilla boys apparent because for a, a group as age long as, um, as, as described, you know, one can just imagine, you know, what these boys could have, you know, thought of or how they could have, you know, figured out uh, a scheme as this. And to understand the governor's perspective, we are all, you know, mindful. We all lived in the times of the uh, NSAS, uh, the post NSAS mm. process, and how things panned out eventually with widespread looting here in Lagos and, and beyond. And uh, that is the standpoint on which uh, Governor Fintiru is in, in standing on or is relying on to mitigate against the total breakdown mm. of law and order. Yes, there is hardship. Uh, at the moment, uh, of course, uh, people have traced it now to the fuel price, mm. uh, the, the fuel price increment, subsidy. you know, due to the removal of so of subsidy and all that. But this is obviously not not the way to 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 go. And um, it's it's really something that you know every right thinking government needs to find a way to clamp down on. We don't know how long the twenty four hour curfew. Uh, would last, but the gov governor is saying if you must go out, you must uh, make sure you have uh, your valid means of, ident uh, of ID. And of course, we've seen the security agencies also on their toes to to mitigate against um, against chaos. This is this is something really really concerning, and it could have an impact not just in Adama but but beyond. And mm. so, uh, this is really the time for uh, the security agencies to be on top of their game. But then at the same time. Talking about a hardship, this is also uh, the time more and more people are looking up to the government, you know, for, uh, you know, major interventions, basic, especially where basic needs are concerned, food, food, food especially, you know, more and more people are looking up to the government and government has said it is in control, is on top of the situation and uh, we hope that it will, you know, continue to, to be so. Yeah, exactly. The, the point there is, uh, we, th this is a, a wake-up call to government to expedite action in the palliative that we're planning to give to Nigerians. And you recall that uh, NLC is saying they have given ultimatum. They want to go on strike, you know, in response to uh, some of the, you know, hardship that uh, workers are going through. But however, the, the, if you narrow it back down to the Shilla boys and all of the looting and all of that, those who, whose property and business are being looted are the same people passing through the same challenges that they are passing through. So sometimes these this boys don't get to sit down and think about the implication of all of these. Someone who has set up a business just by the side to, you know, one way or the other, you know, live by and so on. Businesses are going through different kinds of challenges right now. Those who have shops, those who, even the companies themselves, a lot of companies are devising new means of trying to, you know, uh, keep afloat. Mm -hmm. Some are, you know, shutting down for a little while. Some are downsizing. Some are uh, you know, working on a rotational basis, you know, telling their workers to go home and work from home. The others are just different things just to ensure that companies keep afloat. And then when you loot such kind of company, at the end of this whole thing, uh, you know, we, we, we cause harm to ourselves at the end of the day. It's really, it's really a disheartening situation where this people should know that uh, the fact that the, the challenge is everyone is feeling this pinch doesn't give anyone the, uh, the warranty or the go-ahead or the excuse to begin to loot uh, a property and loot different things. It's a good thing that the, the, the security uh, agencies have arrested uh, several people. I recall that uh, I think in 2021 or so, uh, the, the leaders of the Shilla boys uh, were arrested and uh, they, they, were, they were sentenced to to about seven years in prison mm. at the time, about three of them or even more at the time. Uh, and uh, as it is, with this, I believe that the security agents are going uh, do, do, do their job the way it's supposed to be. Some have been arrested. And the 24-hour curfew is to, like you said, forestall the possibility of this escalating to other states because as it is, Everyone is feeling the impact, and if they give this excuse, and some of the boys who are hoodlums from other 
states are listening and watching what's going on, they could use that also as an indeed, excuse, indeed. you know, to stage whatever they want to stage. So this, this, this alert may not necessarily be for Adamawa State alone, but for all states Absolutely. across the country, so that everyone is on alert just to keep safe uh, and so on. It really, you know, <laughs> it, it, it's really curious, you know, as, as to their choice. And um, one could even describe it as, you know, cheap. These are, these are really, really cheap, pointless um, people or, you know, p uh, subjects or targets now by the criminals. Mm. Because look at NEMA, for example. Exactly. Now. Ne NEMA is tasked with, you know, people who are already deprived, yeah, vulnerable. who are already vulnerable, yeah. who, who, who lack the basic amenities. And this is a government establishment. So of all the government establishments, you look for the, the one supposedly weakest, you know, with food. And you made a point again that it's not even beyond food that's been looted. And so people, food meant for deprived people already, you then suddenly see that as, as a means. I mean, you're attacking your own people. Exactly. You're attacking yourselves invariably. Of course. Okay, uh, we have to leave this here now. Uh, coming up, we have the 